this June, lock your windows. Bolt your doors. Hide your children. Hello? And pray your past won't come back to haunt you. Fear is coming on video cassette. From master filmmaker Martin Scorsese, director of Goodfellas, The Color of Money, Raging Bull, and Taxi Driver, Robert De Niro, Nick Nolte, Jessica Lange, and Juliette Lewis, star in the heart-pounding suspense thriller, Cape Fear, coming on video cassette June 4th. The most successful film to date from director Martin Scorsese, grossing over $75 million at the box office, featuring Oscar-nominated performances from Robert De Niro. My granddaddy used to handle snakes in church. My granny drank strychnine. I guess you could say I had a leg up. Genetic was bacon. And Juliette Lewis. So you're that guy that's been hanging around the house? You're the one that killed my mom's dog? Your mom's dog was killed? Newsweek calls it a pumped-up, thrill-happy ride with layers of complexity. Didn't you wipe that smile off your face? I'm asking you, did he touch you? Joel Siegel of Good Morning America says Cape Fear is as exciting as movies get. I'm Virgil Counselor and I'm guiding you through the gates of hell. And I find you guilty, Counselor. Guilty of betraying your fellow man. Guilty of betraying your country. Guilty of judging me and selling me out. And USA Today calls Cape Fear a stunning masterpiece of cinematic art. And MCA Universal Home Video is supporting Cape Fear with extensive network, cable, and spot television advertising in over 20 markets. Plus, a national print campaign that will keep rentals high. Exciting P.O.P. includes floor displays, posters, and more. A spot promoting the original Cape Fear. Hello, Counselor. Remember me? Now priced at $19.95 will appear on the front of each tape. Plus, an entertaining promotional spot will appear on the front of each copy of Cape Fear, encouraging consumers to purchase previously viewed copies. with this fella. I was his lawyer. Or just shafted him somehow, right? And what was he in prison for? No, really. What the, What did you do? Have you been following me? Well, it's a small town. Every way you turn, I guess we're gonna run into each other. <laughs> Dad, you should have just punched him out. Yeah, you know how to fight dirty. You do that for a living. This guy, uh, he threatened you? He's clever. So that the law can't touch him. Come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> You have a daughter around 16? 16? What? Every good man's got to wrestle with the devil. I want you the hell off my property! You, sir, will be hearing from the ethics committee. We got this freaking psychopath in our faces. I mean, who knows what's true and what isn't? I'm just losing my mind here. I called the vet, and then he died. Lee, I told you not to let him out. I didn't let him out! I didn't let him out! It would be unethical of me to advise a citizen to take the law into his own hands. You thought about me last night, didn't you? Evening, ladies. Hello. I think we're alone now. Where are you from? I'm from the Black Forest. Maybe I'm a big bad wolf. Do you mind if I put my arm around you? 
This May, stir up some action for Father's Day. With a priceless roundup of unforgettable westerns, priced at just $14.95 each. Starring three of the most well-known cowboy heroes, John Wayne, Kirk Douglas, and James Stewart. Rooster Cogburn. The Spoilers. The War Wagon. Lonely of the Brave. The Man Without a Star. Bend of the River, Destry Rides Again, The Rare Breed, Shenandoah, and Winchester 73. Don't wait until the dust settles. Stock up on the best of the West in time for Father's Day. This June, MCA Universal Home Video presents more hit releases featuring your favorite stars. Headlined by Christian Slater in the new action comedy film, Cuffs. Plus, Brian Brown in Dead in the Water. And another great sell-through promotion designed to make a splash in your sales this summer. When you have attitude... I know it's tacky to answer the door half-dressed, but, uh, that's me. Who needs experience? Christian Slater, one of today's most popular young celebrities with the movie-going and video-renting public, stars in a new high-action comedy adventure. A film which has already grossed over $20 million at the box office. I know, I know. Cuffs on video cassette. The Los Angeles Times says Cuffs is original, fun, and consistently surprising. I win. And Cuffs is bound to be a video rental winner. Films featuring Christian Slater have generated more than $100 million in video rentals. Cover me! Wait a minute, wait! Co-starring Tony Goldwyn. In the next two weeks, if you do anything that makes me look bad, I'll break you in half. You get laid much, Ted. Mila Jovovich. George! And Bruce Boxleitner. All right, hold it! You. And featuring music by Harold Faltermeyer. Let's go! MCA Universal Home Video is supporting Cubs with extensive network cable and spot television advertising in over 20 markets. Plus, a national drink campaign and unique P.O.P. Ah, oh, it's good to know I have a loyal support team. The Patrol Special is a private security force. An elite group of seasoned crime fighters. All right, all right! Everyone a professional. Except this one. Howdy. I never really saw myself as a cop. I'm more like the bad guys. Why are we doing so much running? Aren't we all going to be in cars? I'm looking for a really big gun that holds a lot of bullets. Move it! The first time you screw up, you're out of business. He's a kid. Right, I am not a kid. Calm down. Kid, kid, kid. Where'd you learn to shoot like that? Never shot a gun before in my life. Maybe this isn't so hard after all. Wait, 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 wait a minute, everybody! But well, we all decided we don't want you as our boss. Oh. We just have to take charge. Yeah, yeah, come in, 10 4. Just checking in, boss. Surprise the bad guys. Oh, we're gonna die! Right. Oh! I scared you, didn't I? And send your girl flowers. And uh, what would you like the card to say? Dear Maya, it was great seeing you the other night. Love and kisses on all your pink parts. You're all under arrest. Lay down on the ground or something. He's not a patrol special. He's a screw-up. I've got women to do, places to see. Going down. I'm pregnant, George. It's Malvin! 
Christian Slater. Hey, the movie's called Cups. Trying to get out of my bathroom. criminal lawyer falls for his secretary. There's just one catch. He's already married. Haven't had this much fun since my hysterectomy. She's an unhappy, spiteful woman. But when these two put their heads together, they come up with a perfect murder. Well, almost perfect. Everything okay, mister? Just been for a little swim. Can he outsmart the detective? You and Laura killed Olivia for her father's money. The ex-husband? I want the money or you're dead. The socialite? What do you want, Victoria? Just you, Charlie. And his best friend? Get him, Susie! <laughs> Brian Brown, Terry Hatcher, Anne DeSalvo, and Veronica Cartwright star. When it comes to murder, nobody's perfect. Dead in the water. Kick off the summer with hot fun and adventure. Oh, gnarly! Let the good times begin with hit titles jam full of romance, laughs, and action. Awesome! Now at exciting prices, starting at $14.95 each. The Breakfast Club. I'm a nymphomaniac. Career Opportunities, Coupe de Ville, Cry Baby, Kiss Me, Kiss Me no. Fast Times at Ridgemont High. People on moods should not drive. My Tutor, Private School, 16 Candles. Can't believe I'm such a jerk. <laughs> and Malibu Express. Don't miss out on the action. Kick off your summer sales. Order now. When I started writing Naked Lunch, people offered their opinions. Disgusting, they said. Pornographic, un-American trash. Unpublishable. Well, it came out in 1959, and it found an audience. Town meetings, book burnings, and an inquiry by the state Supreme Court. That book made quite a little impression. Now, 30 years later, Hollywood, in its infinite wisdom, has turned it into a movie. 30 feet tall, in living color. Cover your eyes, America. Run for your lives. You're a marked man, Bill. You're just gonna have to leave town. Tourist class, I'm afraid. Thought you were finished with doing weird stuff. I thought I was too. But I guess I'm not. access to too many or too much money and little by little we went insane apocalypse now has been budgeted at 13 million dollars if the film goes over budget francis is responsible 
But the time I hired on, it was only a 16-week shoot, which uh, didn't prove to be the case. Stand by. Uh, we just heard they're taking away five of our helicopters. Well, we're behind, but uh, we have not stopped shooting. It's, uh, it's like a great war itself. Are they seriously saying that Marlin would take a million dollars and then not show up? Have a club soda, club soda department. Yeah. The film is now three million dollars over budget. Once I felt that I was in a, in going in a direction, I wanted to continue going in that direction. Since it was my money, I just, I just did it. Then you're going to get into this weird speech. Of it's a scenes unknown on the call sheet. You just would show up. When he you says, who are you? you why don't you say, who are you? Because I haven't learned my lines yet. I That's know you've why. had it for five days. <laughs> I was not in the greatest of uh, shape. Just do what I ask. When I say, just explain the whole... I'm telling you the reason. I can't ever talk more than a fucking sentence. <laughs> why? I pretended I, I couldn't remember a lot of the things I'd done that night. He was already heavy when I had hired him, but he was so fat, he was very, very shy about it. Now I got Marlon Brando as an incredible joker to play. He didn't give a shit. I swallowed a book. The script doesn't make sense. I have no ending. Why can't I just have the courage to say it's no good? I really support him as an artist, and so what's the worst that can happen? They take away your big house, they take away your car, so what? I'm gonna be bankrupt anyway. I'm thinking of shooting myself. I came out an hour and a half later and he had convinced me that this was the first film that would win a Nobel Prize. Marty's had a heart attack. Do you know that it's going to be all over Hollywood in a half an hour? At one point, he had a collapse, and he didn't know if he was dying or leaving this reality or what was happening to him. This movie I'm making is not in the tradition of the great Max Ophuls or of David Lean even. This movie was made in the tradition of Irwin Allen. But the questions that that story kept putting me, I couldn't answer. Yet I knew that I had constructed the film in such a way that to not answer would be to fail. Action of Rambo. All the power of Commando. The world has to know what's happening here. It's the thrill-packed feature action fans are waiting for. I want those Indios. Marvelous Marvin Hagler returns from the original Indio. Indio 2, The Revolt. The jungle is shrinking. He's here to build a highway through our jungle. It's paid by the mile. And greed is spreading. You had better start praying to your God that we finish the highway before the rainy season. Here, only one man is mean enough. I know many of us may die, but it is better to die than to live like slaves. Mad enough. Tell them the days of running and hiding are over. This is your land. And tough enough to fight back. Will you lead us, my friend? Sometimes, to do any good, you gotta be bad. There's no turning back. Boxing superstar Marvelous Marvin Hagler is back. Charles Napier of Silence of the Lambs and Rambo 2 co-stars. I'm calling in reinforcements. I'm here to be a praying man. It's time to start praying. Indio 2, The Revolt. Get set for great savings and terrific new offerings from Family Home Entertainment. Also coming in June, Bucky O'Hare, School is Out, and Bucky's Back with three brand new volumes of outer space action to help you cash in on America's hottest licensed character. All right! On TV, Bucky's hit show consistently ranks in the top three of all weekend syndicated shows. Most excellent! In the toy stores, Bucky can be seen on over 75 new products, including color forms, posters, pencils, t-shirts, sweats, shoes, watches, and new Halloween costumes from Milton Bradley, Fruit of the Loom, and more. 
And they're all backed by multi-million dollar promotional campaigns. Yes, I am very impressed, very. Plus, Hasbro, Earth's number one toy company, is expanding their year two toy line from 13 to 22 action figures, plus new space vehicles. Yes, sir. So join the action with three new Bucky Home videos, The Taking of Pilot Jenny, Corsair Canards, and Bye Bye Berserker Baboon, each at the great low price of just $12.98. P.O.P. includes a 12-piece counter display. And take advantage of Bucky Mania by offering your customers Bucky's first three releases. Do it! Bucky O'Hare, America's hottest licensed character from Family Home Entertainment. You ask for lower prices, and we heard you. Now, Live's introducing the right price. Waxwork 2, Lost in Time, the sequel to the video smash Waxwork, is just $49.98 suggested list price. No gimmicks, no strings attached, just one terrifying movie at one great low price. Waxwork 2, Lost in Time, just $49.98 suggested list. Now, only the movie is scary. From the director of Waxwork, Waxwork 2, Lost in Time. We burned that place down to the ground. Nothing could have escaped that inferno. I just hope you're right. When the mayhem ended... You said it was over! You said it was over! Their adventure began. You're going to need all the help you can get if you want to continue the fight against evil. Just follow Alice through the looking glass. Trapped in a terrifying journey through time. When you first used Solomon's Locket, you opened a doorway to another universe. A place where the true battle between good and evil is played out for eternity. Caught between the forces of darkness and light. God wants me to be a time warrior? The master is no mortal. He is the devil himself. No. To get back to the future, they must fight evil throughout the ages. You guys know how to fight? Let's go kick some Zach Gallagher from Waxwork and Gremlins 1 and 2 stars with Alexander Goodenough from Witness and Die Hard. You're... you're sick. What? You asked and we responded. Now Live's going back in time and returning to yesterday's prices. Waxwork 2 at the right price, $49.98. We've done our part. Now it's time to do yours. Take an action-packed journey through the looking glass and back in time. Waxwork 2, Lost in Time, from Live Home Video. Playboy, in association with Propaganda Films, presents a daring new kind of sophisticated entertainment. Nine riveting stories of intrigue, sensuality, and obsession that will shatter your imagination. Inside Out, erotic tales of the unexpected. This provocative new anthology explores the secret realm of fantasy and passion, where men and women come face to face with the consequences of their own desires. In Brushstrokes, an otherwise demure young woman becomes inexplicably obsessed with a new artist. I can't believe I'm doing this. And crosses a line she never imagined. Is it just good chemistry, or is something else controlling her inhibitions? The Lita is a chilling vision of the future, where a chance encounter becomes a desperate struggle and changes forever the relationship between a man and a woman, and between a man and a machine. In the diaries, the secret fantasies of a husband and wife go beyond mere entries in their private journals. I thought I knew everything about her. To become insatiable appetites that neither one has the power to control. You can touch it. And in my better half, a young man's fury hurls him into a parallel universe where he finds himself on the receiving end of his own passionate advances. Inside Out gives you nine different stories, 
and each one is like nothing you've ever seen from Playboy before. 90 minutes of sophisticated and intriguing entertainment. Now available from Playboy Home Video. Many people have tried to make a, a movie out of this novel before. It's the most erotic script I've ever read. The book, if you did it literally, would cost about $400 million to do, and it would be banned in every country in the world. The movie is one big hallucinogenic nightmare. It's quite unlike anything I've done. Everybody's creative antennae uh, are twitching. It's about loss and redemption and a guy striving to get back that which he let go of. It's, it's quite funny. I mean, it's, well, it's very funny, in fact. I'd read that David Cronenberg was going to do a film of Naked Lunch, and I thought, hmm, how's he going to do that? It's an amazing trip. Hello, Bill. What's up? For more than 30 years, filmmakers from around the world have wanted to make a motion picture of William S. Burroughs' enigmatic, erotic, groundbreaking novel, Naked Lunch, a work as controversial today as it was when it was first published in 1959. In a sense, the movie is about writing, the subject of writing itself, and of being creative, and commitment to being creative, the danger of being creative. Naked Lunch, the book, stood as a... As a uh, just a, a, a just an incredible work of American literature. It broke the form of the American novel and was a real magic carpet ride. It's a very fragmented, hallucinatory kind of work, and it was kind of a revelation. I thought it was wild, and it made quite an impression. And I um, I thought it was extreme, an extremely progressive work of literature. It really blows your mind when you read it. A lot of people still consider it pornographic, which is a shame because it's not pornographic. It's not prurient. That's why when the book had trouble being printed, men like uh, uh, Mailer and, and uh, Styron and all these writers came to Burroughs' defense and said, look, yes, the man is a druggie, and yes, this is very pornographic material, but it's quite beautiful. It's well written. The man is an artist. Some of the things that are in Burroughs that are in Naked Lunch, the book, you can't do on screen yet. It's just not... Permitted. With the full cooperation of William Burroughs, Cronenberg spent nearly a decade trying to get his vision of Naked Lunch on the screen, a decade during which the director came to international attention with such films as Scanners, Dead Ringers, and his Academy Award-winning remake of The Fly. I knew that I wanted a narrative structure that was more of a narrative structure than, than the book has because the book is very dreamlike and segmented and fragmented and you could actually shuffle it like a deck of cards. It's not something that anyone other than maybe David Cronenberg thought was even cinematic. He had to think of a way to make it cinematic. Since I knew that I was going to do something quite different, it actually liberated me to create something new that was really a fusion of me and Burroughs. It's like... Uh, Burroughs and I getting into the telepod of the fly, you know, maybe I'm the fly, I'm on Burroughs' shoulder, and we fuse together, and out of the other telepod comes the movie, Naked Lunch. Naked Lunch takes place essentially inside the mind of its main character, Bill Lee, portrayed by Peter Weller. Peter is sensational. I think he's really going to surprise a lot of people who associate him, I suppose, primarily with Robocop. I think they're going to be very, very surprised at his performance, which is absolutely wonderful and very profound, I think. I can't go home. I can't go home. In the dual role of Lee's wife and his imaginary lover, Cronenberg cast Academy Award-nominated Australian actress Judy Davis. I needed an actress who was very strong, very powerful, very magnetic and charismatic, which she is. I mean, I really think she's one of the four or five best film actresses in the world. You know, I do feel drawn to an old lover. Yeah, I was frightened by his script, and um, that, um, that can be quite compelling. Playing American author Tom Frost is Ian Holm. This is all happening telepathically, non-consciously. What do you mean? If you look carefully at my lips, you'll realize that I'm 
actually saying something else. The nature of the Naked Lunch being it's, it's such an enigmatic piece, one is really in some doubt as to uh, what is real and what isn't at any given point. Rounding out the film's international cast are two-time Academy Award nominee Roy Scheider as the shyster Dr. Benway and Julian Sands as the lascivious Eve Cloquet. <coughs> Enjoying the beach. David Cronenberg is it most original as a filmmaker. I think that's why actors are drawn to the possibility of working with him. Once the script was written and the cast was set, the real challenge became realizing the imagery of Naked Lunch, as envisioned by both author Burroughs and director Cronenberg. We were trying to design these creatures. What does a mugwump really look like? And of course, it's, only, it's described in a very sketchy way in Burroughs, and therefore in my own script. And now it's a question of coming to grips with what is it really going to look like? What is it going to sound like? How is it going to move? No point in feigning surprise. You knew we would be getting in touch with you. Why else would you come to a waterfront dive like this? Why else? Okay, cut. For David Cronenberg and all involved, the movie version of Naked Lunch is a long-time dream come true. We know it's great. I mean, I think the feeling on the set and the feeling in the, in the, in the edit editor's room is that, it's, that we've got something very special and we're very, very excited about it.